Hi there, I'm John, the founder of CNCROI.com, and today we're going to take a look at stainless steel annealed business cards and tagging. Due to the incredible precision we have with our Austrian CNC laser, um, we're able to do stainless steel uh, completely black, as you can see here. I'll post some pictures on the blog so you can see them. Uh, these are two different uh, stainless steel tags. For instance, we get these done in any shape, size, thickness that you desire. Uh, the advantage of these things here over any other method is that it's completely permanent. Um, if you do this with an inkjet printer, it's going to fade off after a couple of weeks or months because of the sun, if anything else. Uh, UV printing, you name the process, it comes off. With our stainless steel fiber annealed uh, processes, it's completely permanent. It's right on the surface. Now how would you actually take this off? I've done it before. Uh, basically you need a sand belt and you need to just basically take off the whole layer of uh, stainless steel. That's the only way to take it off. There's nothing in the, in the environment that is that tough on these tags, I guess, unless you live next to uh, you know, a place with sandstorms every day. Uh, so when we do our custom tagging for a lot of our customers, uh, mines, military, and so forth, uh, they want these tags. And again, we can do them in any thickness. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at these two tags being made. In case you're wondering how much precision can we get on these tags, um, we can get up to a thousand DPI if you want annealed. Uh, a cheaper method of marking these is actually just marking them so they're not black, they'd be sort of like a, a off brown or look like it was scratched. They're just as permanent, it's just a faster process. Again, it depends on your budget and your timeline to get however many of these things done. Uh, nothing beats annealing though, it's completely black, it doesn't come off. Uh, what I do with my customers actually is I bring a pocket knife. Um, and I tell them try to scratch it off and they can't. That's why I said earlier you got to use a sand belt with a very high, high grit to actually remove this stuff because you're actually removing a layer of stainless steel. Let's take a look at the other one being made.
that's how you anneal stainless steel. Uh, you can only do that with a fiber laser tube. Uh, there's a work around that using Suramark, which is a ceramic bonding paste you put on the stainless steel. Um, it's a very cheap process, meaning that it just doesn't last. It fades, cracks, and comes off over time. While the process you just saw with our Austrian CNC laser never comes off. It's always going to be there. Because what we're doing is actually raising the carbon uh, inside of the metal itself being raised up. We're not adding anything to the metal. It's actually the metal itself becoming black through the fiber source. Now, a common question I get is, why would I go with this versus this? This here is anodized aluminum. This here is stainless steel. The advantage to aluminum is a lot lighter. You could tell right away. So if you're getting business cards done, uh, what I suggest to customers, unless they want to spend a fortune, um, is get a lot of these things done here. Um, hand them out to people. And then with very special customers, you give them the stainless steel options. Stainless steel, they'll keep them. They, you just don't chuck those things out. They're just nice. They have a really nice weight to them. And again, just like the anodized aluminum, uh, we can do these in any size, shape, form that you want. We could anneal it to any spec that you need as well. Um, with our CNC laser, we have about 5 microns repeatability, which means that if you need these things to be military spec, everything's exactly where it should be, we can do that. I'll see you in the next video.